Hello, my name is Jared Nobriga, and today I'll be performing Leopold's monologue from Never the Sinner by John Logan, along with Paroli's monologue from Act 1, Scene 1 of All's Well That Ends Well by William Shakespeare. Thank you. Has my opinion of Dick changed? Uh, allow me to illustrate that by saying that I feel myself less than ducks beneath his feet. I am jealous of the food and water he takes because I cannot come as close to him as food and water do. I know, he doesn't deserve my adoration. And I know, but I don't care. More and more, I begin to understand that there is something hollow inside him. Something lonely, lost, and cold. But to me, he is like this hard, perfect gem. Hold him to the light and turn him slowly in your hand and the different dazzling faucets will catch your eyes and fascinate you one after another. How could I ever hope to escape from this blinding light, this flashing, glimmering brilliance that reflects on me? It makes me beautiful too. There's little that can be said in it. Tis against the rule of nature. To speak on the part of virginity is to accuse your mothers, which is the most infallible disobedience ever. He who hangs himself is a virgin and so should be buried in sanctified limits. Besides, virginity, it breeds mites, much like a cheese it consumes itself at the very pairing and so breeds on its own stomach. And besides, virginity is peevish, idle, made of self-love, which is the most inhibited sin in the canon. You cannot choose but to lose by it. In a year, it'll make itself too, which is a goodly increase. And the principle's not much the worse. Away with it. <laughs> Thank you.